For the million plus Uber drivers out there, or at least all of you operating in California, you can now call yourselves employees of Uber. It's exactly what Uber execs have feared and fought against since the company's launch in 2009. The California Labor Commission ruled Tuesday morning that drivers, or independent contractors as Uber calls them, are actually employees of the company. Fortune reports the commission's ruling rejected Uber's appeal over a former San Francisco driver who asked for more than $4,000 to cover expenses during her time working for the company. For the company that currently employs only about 1,000 people in its San Francisco corporate office, the change could be catastrophic. Business Insider predicts if the ruling stands, Uber will have to dramatically downsize and begin providing benefits and wages for each driver, drivers like Regina who need to make a living. I was in real estate for 22 and a half years and looked around and didn't know what I was going to do after that and Uber came up and I didn't think I would, would be able to like drive that much but I just drive all day. Controversy is not new to Uber. There are partial and full bans of the ride hailing service all over the globe. Business Insider highlights the string of public relations disasters the company has experienced due to everything from sexual assault charges to entering new markets where local officials didn't want the service. The employee versus contractor controversy isn't new either. According to Silicon Beat, the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity already ruled in favor of a disgruntled former Uber driver who was denied after filing to receive unemployment benefits from the company. It's a battle that likely won't go away soon. The lawyer taking a stab at the Uber giant in multiple court cases is a seasoned veteran in the war against on-demand services. Regarding her stance on the matter, Shannon Liss Reardon told Business Insider, I just don't know how Uber can argue with a straight face that as a $40 billion company, it can't afford to insure its drivers pay minimum wage or pay overtime or be reimbursed for their expenses. This is not going to put Uber out of business. As of Wednesday morning, Uber had not released a statement about the California Labor Commission's ruling. Stay tuned for what will undoubtedly be another round of action in the weeks to come. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.